Okay, so this is the second time I actually tried to record this, and I really don't like repeating my intro twice. You already know what it most likely is. What's going on? But once again, Bros and Burns back as usual, talking to King Moses. That one. So, anyways, um, as I said before, it's the second time I tried to do this because for some weird, oddly strange as hell, out of the blue fucking reason, Arcee's guy Celestia knows why in the hell this shit happened. Because <laughs> I wasn't actually cooking nothing when I was doing the vlog um, reaction review segment video on the last part, but. For certain strange-ass, mysterious reason of untold fucking fortunes. And it's funny, I'm not going to try to get too too much uh, personal information in my personal life, but I do believe that there are angels and demons, that there is a heaven and a hell. But yeah, I'm not trying to get all religious on you guys. I'm just saying, just putting it out there, because I was raised in kind of a strict <laughs> parental um, control type of um, Christianity type of household at that time, almost nine years ago. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know what it was, but um, many people know what the fire extinguisher, not the fire extinguisher, but like the fire alarm for some odd, weird ass reason started going off. It started going beep, beep, beep. It was like, what the hell's going on there? Since I don't know how to edit stuff very well, and I'm professional at that, and I usually do my videos wrong and cut and stuff like that, I had to like <laughs> cancel like half of the reaction. Well, not half of the act reaction. It literally just started going on when I was reading the title and all that. I was reading some of the comments, and then right after I was about to do the reaction, like, I usually say, Three, two, one. Let's get in. Let's do this shit. You know, um, some odd apparent reason, this thing just started blaring out of nowhere, and I didn't have nothing to cooking on the stove or the oven at that time either. That's literally the first time it's happened. And the craziest thing, it was yesterday when I was trying to do the reaction. It's literally it was March the first annual, and it's kind of not really an anniversary or anything. That's just some special me and the roomies do, because we lived in the older house for about five years. <laughs> and before that, I think it was about three years when we lived in the other one before that. Prior to that house. Because, um, obviously before that, I would make up to, like, six, seven, eight. Yeah, almost nine years. So, because before that, you know, I was living in my strict parental, controlled as hell, parental parents' house at that time. Ugh. Most of those days were dreadful. I mean, there were one or two moments that were pretty damn decent, but most of the time, it just gave me fucking huge-ass goddamn headaches. But other than that, um, yeah, there's just the siren thing. Not the siren, but, like, the fire alarm just started blaring on fucking nowhere. But anyways, hopefully there's no more other distractions besides that. Oh, and I finally got my microphone thing fixed. Actually, instead of Amazon making it two weeks for it to um, last for a very long time, it actually only took one week. <laughs> so the shipping got for the microphone got here a lot more quicker than I thought. And thank God it finally worked. So that way you guys can stop bullshitting and complaining that I can't hear it or anything like that. No offense to any of my new subscribers and viewers, but in my older ones, you kind of know what it is. Hopefully, you don't give me too much of a headache. Or unless you're just a random person, I just watch my videos sometimes on and off. It is what it is. Not hating on you or anything or trying to um, critique you or any of that shit, but hopefully um, you can kind of get off my back on it and be a little bit more chill, more nicer with me on that level. So anyways, yeah, this one, um, like I said before, I'll say it again, this one, anime, this is actually an anime reaction review segment I'm doing today. It's called Kuromoko. I probably butchered the crap out of that and I probably, that's what I did in a prior video. It's called Kuromoko, Kuromoko or Kuromoko trailer, anime review. And the other one, as I was saying before, I'll say it again, was the Mario. I know it was a Super Mario version of this. And it was actually for Nintendo 3DS. This was literally like a couple months before Yokai Watch came out, I think late November, early December last year. And this is like August, September of last year, too, when it came out. This is called Puzzles and Dragons X Trailer. Well, the trailer came out for it. I think the game actually came out literally less than like a week ago, I think. By the time I'm doing a video, a couple days, maybe a week ago. So, yeah. It's called Puzzles and Dragons Trailer X. I didn't want to be too harsh or critical or kind of shit on its parade or be very negative or extremely senile towards have it have it like displayed in a bad light for this anime series, but I decided I want to give it a shot. Both of them have really small views, by the way. This one only has like 300 something views. Actually, yeah, 322 views, and the other one has like 130. So I don't know if these animes were well received or they were really bad negative animes when they were in like the Japanese edition before they were English dubbed. I don't know. It is what it is. Oh, and speaking of anime, i actually been watching on this thing. I actually held out, held back in this anime like two months ago because I only watched the first two episodes. So I'm episode 11 is one. This is from 2011. You could just skip this whole part right here and I'll tell you where to skip at. But it's called, um, I was watching this um, website called SoulAnime.com. There was another one I was watching on, but it keeps like getting like 10, 20 different pop-up pop blocks every fucking time. So I decided not to watch on there. I think it's called Heroes Tale Anime. I don't know. This one's called Soul Anime. Highly recommend that website. Or, of course, the big giant one, like fucking Crunchyroll, obviously. But, yeah, um, 
I'm trying to remember what the name of this anime series. I think it's called Sicko. Actually, no, it's called Go Sick. It's kind of like that European style um, anime that Ampliplex made. This is actually from the company from Bones. Same people that brought a couple other anime series, I think, like Taboom. And then that mystery one, I forgot, where they're always killing each other in, like, the school. Not high school to death, but it's something sort of to that matter. I think it's called Psychopaths. They might have been the same people that did that anime series, Psychos, Psychopaths. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I mean, the last anime I watched was about two, six months ago. And the one prior before that was probably, like, four years ago when I was watching the Redux remake for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yeah, that was probably the last ones I was watching. And obviously, being a grown-ass adult like me, I don't have that much time or, um... A lot of sparing of time to do to watch a lot of anime series like I did back in middle school and high school and of course elementary because I didn't have two jobs. <laughs> but it is what it is. So yeah, I usually just watch it occasionally. This one's actually been pretty damn good though. I've been keeping up with it for a little while. I'm like halfway through to like the first twelve episodes. Go sick. It's like the same people who made Full Metal Alchemist. That's what that's that art style that they're looking like they made. And it was in twenty eleven too, so it's almost like what? Five, six years old? But yeah, hopefully I don't have too many other distractions. I apologize if I do in rants. So yeah, without further ado, links to description box in the description box down below. Annotation on the side if you want to see it with me in our own time. Three, two, one, let's get it in. And hopefully this um, introduction was all over the place. I apologize if it was. Altogether, it's like three minutes because this one's two minutes, 40 seconds on its own. The Kuro, Kurokamo. And the other one, Puzzles and Dragons, is like less than a freaking minute. It's like 40 seconds long. All right, let's get it in. Hopefully you don't hear the wind outside too loudly either. Hey, let me rewind that back again. They were playing a song. Hope I don't get a fucking copyright claim for it. If I do, fuck it, so be it. Commemorate 15 years of past. Hopefully, you guys can read it with me. Links in the description box down below in station side. What the fuck? She's talking about eating humans. It's not like cannibalism shit, but you know, that is anime. Sometimes it's weird, sometimes it's cool. This is their summer anime that's coming out this year too, 2016. They had peaceful lives. <laughs> Stand back, suddenly distracted. Oh shit! I thought this was just going to be a slice of life anime. This ended up being some giant mecha action anime. Okay. Not bad, you definitely got me. time I actually see an anime series that was, um, what was it called? I actually got really super hyped for, okay. So yeah, there's that, and I'm just clicking on to the second part of the video really, really quick. Just making sure the volume's not extremely loud like it was before. I'll get my overall thoughts, views, and opinions in a very quick minute. So, yeah, there's that. And let's get on to this one, Puzzles and Dragons X trailer. I doubt that's even going to beat it at all, but... Yeah, three, two, one. Let's get in, and maybe if you any, especially my younger millennial generations. And hell, there's even people that were like in the Y generation and the Z generation, like me. And the Y generation, obviously, that I think they're like 35 through like 50. I think possibly. I don't even know. I even see some grown men, 40 year olds, some things that were playing a couple old school arcade games every now and then. So I know they're still in the game, and they even talked about the modern day game is like Xbox One and um, what's it called, PS4 and all that. So you know, <laughs> some of them they're still on. 
to the modern day hip stuff of Z generation and millennials. So, you know, not every single one of them is a boring ass adult, but it is what it is. Some of my kid, kids at heart just like me. But other than that, yeah, Puzzles and Dragons, let's get in. That's when I was doing that whole, um, when I was um, showing my cousin towards the strip and all that stuff like that when he was coming from Cali almost two weeks ago. Yeah, it was pretty damn fun. Not bad. So yeah, Puzzle and Dragons. Um, links to description box down below in the side. Like I said before, I'll say it again. Three, two, one. Let's get in. Let's do this shit. Hopefully you guys can hear that. It looks like it's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh a little bit. It doesn't have that super hardcore intensity. It's more like J-pop, K-pop type of thing. It's more mellow. It's still action-y, but not in the same level, though. Really, that was it. Okay. Oh, no, it was a little bit more. All right. All right, so overall thoughts, views, and opinions was pretty damn decent. Really, really good. I don't really got much to say about Puzzle and Dragons. Really funky, real classy. A little bit more mellow and laid back. It still has a little bit of action here and there, but not... Freaking guns and swords and blazing fire all over the damn place like the other one that had. Kurakura, I think that's what it was, yeah. Kurirako. So shout out to the director and producer for making that beautiful piece of artwork. I'm definitely checking that shit out. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely damn well fucking insane. Absolutely amazing. That's pretty much it. I'm going to cut the outro short here. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out once again. Bros, and bros, and pack and sister. I will see you when I see you guys a good day. Have a good night wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't take the reckless. Keep it calm, cool, but chill, collect all the good stuff. See you guys soon. Stay tuned more future vlogs and videos. And stay safe, everyone. Talk to you guys soon. Deuces, I'm out. I will see you guys next time. Peace, goodbye, and laters.